to me. Why did you have to pay so much for them? Ah, that's the secret. This is an ordinary one. This is the one that I let my audience examine. Then my assistant switches this one. I put somebody in it, put the top down, pull the curtains. Come here. And my assistant unlocks that. Presto! Well, hmm. not bad. Huh? It's all right. Come on. Come on. Get in. Me? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 oh. no, no. Well, 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 I'll get in. Look. All right, put the lid down. Yeah. All right. Lock it. Lock it. Now go down the other end and put the key in here and unlock it and then push the top up. Well, I haven't got any keys. What did you do with them? Uh, all the keys. I got him. What? I say, I got him here. Don't stand around and argue about it. Do something. Get me out of here. <laughs> if we can only keep the big lug in there. Oh, Papa, do something. All right, I'll get the axe. No, 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 no. No axe. You do nothing of the sort. After Ed to pay so much money for these trunks, you go get a locksmith. Hurry up. That's it. Get a locksmith. But hurry. Papa, be right back, Edgar. Hello. Hello. Mrs. Kennedy, this is Mr. Potter. May I speak to your husband? Oh, oh yes, Mr. Potter. He's here, uh, uh, but he's in a trunk. Uh, not drunk, trunk. Uh, well, I don't know. I'll see. Edgar? Uh, uh, just a moment, Mr. Potter. Edgar? It's Mr. Potter. He wants to speak to you. Oh. Well, shall I have him call back later? Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Wait a minute. Maybe he wants to go into business with me. Well, here, give me the telephone. Give it to... Oh, oh. Uh, about... <laughs> here it is, Edgar, on top, right over the lock. All right. Hello! Kennedy? Yeah! You sound like you're in a barrel. Oh, you've got a cold. <laughs> well, that should keep you from trying to tell some of those stale jokes. I'm sorry about that, Mr. Potter. I'd like to talk over that deal again. Oh, well, any time. Oh, and say, bring some friends with you. I got a swell new trick to show you. Very well. I'll see you tomorrow night. <laughs> All right, tomorrow night. That's fine. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, he's coming over tomorrow night with some friends. Will I get him this time? <laughs> if we get you out of there. Oh, oh, where's Pop? Where's that locksmith? Well, there it is. Just as I thought. An outlawed lock. What do you mean, outlawed? I ain't got a key to open it. They haven't made a lock like that for 20 years. Well, what are we going to do? Stand back. Sometimes if you drop them, you spring open. Oh, 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 oh. oh wait a minute. My husband's in there. Oh, no, What's he doing in there? Well, it's a magic trunk. Oh, one of those things. Uh-huh. Hey, push the button on the end. You better learn how to do that trick. That'll be five dollars. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to prove to you that the hand is quicker than the eye. Oh. 
Oh, I'm sorry. By Jove, that's clever, Kennedy. I don't suppose you magicians are allowed to tell a fellow how you do these things. Will you folks excuse us a moment? As a general rule, we professionals don't disclose our secrets. But I couldn't hold out on a prospective partner. <laughs> so I'm not only going to tell you how to do it, but I'm going to show you how to do it. <laughs> you take this little thing, you stuff the cigarette into there. You let loose, and the rubber pulls it up your sleeve. <laughs> Put it yeah. down the sleeve. I hope I can do this thing. You can't miss. Have a cigarette. Your husband certainly is the life of the party. It's the first time I've ever seen John so interested. Wait till you see Edgar's mysterious trunk trick. My friends, allow me to present my new partner. Not yet. Uh, in the art of ledger domain. Oh. Take over, Professor. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is to prove that the hand is quicker than the eye. Well, 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 well. <laughs> okay. I can have a lot of fun with that, Kennedy. Oh, you certainly <laughs> should. Now, here's a little one you should learn sometime. Yeah. You put a napkin over a glass of water, Covering it completely. So, now, with a magic pass and a magic word. Hey! I'm on fire! I'm burning up! Oh, hey. oh, wait, 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 hold it, hold it, keep cool, keep cool, keep cool. Oh. And now that'll get it for you. You must have done something wrong. You certainly did. Well, take your coat off, Mr. Potter, and I'll dry it for you. You bet I will. <laughs> well, look, I'll go get the big trick ready. I can't make any mistake on that. Oh, here, let me have it. Yeah. Oh, everything is set. <laughs> it wasn't my idea to have you help me. And if you pull one boner, all you'll need with that black suit is a box. I'm not going to gum up anything. I know what to do. All right, after they examine this yeah. trunk, what are you supposed to do? Well, when you pull the curtains to the first time, I'll take that one out and back and shove in the trick one. All right. And then when I open the curtains and the subject gets into the trick trunk, then you close the curtains the second time. I take the party out of the trunk and put them in that cabinet and then stand by. Behind the curtains for the other tricks. Right. Let's go. Oh, come here. Come here. Right this way, ladies and gentlemen. The show is about to commence. Before you sit down, folks, I would like you to examine this trunk. You see, there are no concealed panels, no false bottom, no trap door, and standard locks. We will now proceed. I know that all women love to delve into trunks, and I would like some good-looking young lady for my subject. Oh, Mrs. Potter, would you assist me? Oh, oh well, what am I supposed to do? Well, when we start, You'll get into the trunk, and I will close the curtains like this. I am now closing the curtain for the first time. Then I will make a few magic passes to prove that the hand is quicker than the eye. <laughs> then we will open the curtain, and the trunk, I mean, uh, you will be gone. Oh, really? <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Uh, uh, Abba dabba, here we go. <laughs> One for the money and two for the show. <laughs> uh, Mr. Potter, will you just sign that so you'll be sure the lock hasn't been tampered with? Now we will close the curtains. The object in closing the curtains is not to deceive the audience. 
It is merely to give the mystic forces an opportunity to operate in darkness after I have summoned them with the magic word. Abadabba! Abadabba! Ah, uh, Mr. Potter, will you unlock the trunk? Say, this isn't bad. But where's Mrs. Potter? Oh, you want her bag? <laughs> hey, just a minute. This isn't the same trunk. The adhesive tape is gone. Uh, well, that's only the uh, first part. We'll close the curtain. <laughs> then we'll, uh, we'll uh, go into the finale. You see, the trick, like sawing a woman in half, is much better when it's done in two parts. I'll, uh, I'll uh, hypnotize my wife and uh, make her disappear, and then we'll find both the ladies in the little cabinet. Uh, uh, come here, honey. Uh, 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 stare right into my eyes. <clears throat> Look right at me now. Hey, your old man got the trunks mixed up. Bow oh, stare dear. right at me. I look right into my eyes. If, uh, listen, I pretend to hypnotize you. Now look right at me. You're looking at me. You're going to sleep. You're going to sleep. And you go out and find her and bring her back with you in this little cabinet. You're going to sleep. Say, Kennedy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> why not hypnotize me? Oh, oh, I couldn't do that. You got. You got too strong a willpower. Oh, I... Go on, try it. Oh, no, I try it, but then nothing was going to happen. <coughs> All right, look right into my eyes and stare at me very close. You're going to sleep. You're going to sleep. You're getting rigid. I did it. <laughs> well, you'd better undo it. Oh, yeah, hey, oh. hey, come on. Come on, Alma. Come on, out of it. Come on. Snap out of it. Snap out of it. What am I going to do about it? Well, take him into the bedroom. I'll get Dr. Walker on the okay, first floor. Okay, help me, boys. <clears throat> Come on, now snap out of it, will you? Come on, now, come on. Oh, I don't think anything to be alarmed about. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, hey, open your eyes. Jones already went to the pier. He left the store open. The trunk is on the inside. I'll be right up. Mr. Stroganoff, do you know where Dr. Walker is? Something is wrong? Yes. Edgar hypnotized the man. He what a man? He hypnotized a man. Come, we get the doctor. <laughs> well, you hypnotized me anyway, Kennedy. <laughs> I guess I did. Funny how it makes you headache. Yeah, I guess it would, all right. Where's Mrs. Potter? Mrs. Potter. Oh, Holmes Potter's still in the trunk. What? Oh, God, she's in the trunk. Where's the trunk? Why, an expressman took it. He said the landlord told him. To. He was supposed to take Jones's trunk out of 203. Well, where'd he take it? How do I know? Jones is on his way to Australia. Australia? Oh, let's get to the dock. <laughs> you pay for this, Kennedy. Wait, 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 so you put his wife in Jones's trunk. Yeah. And your father-in-law was supposed to get her out. Yeah, but you see... Yeah, I see. And now you're trying to get me into it. Oh, well, there's no. nothing doing. Get out of here. I'm busy. The, the expressman took the wrong trunk by mistake. It's on this ship with my wife in it. And we must get her out before she suffocates. Well, why didn't you say so in the first place? Oh. I'll be in the hole by now. Follow me. Oh, I do hope they find her. Don't worry. They'll find her. And when they do, they'll hang that big palooka. In the trunk. Let me out. Oh, hurry, Daddy. Let me out. Oh. Oh. When are they going to do the trick? Oh, pretty soon.
Well, she's not in here. Come on, boys, hurry up. There's just a little ways to go. Come on, Captain. That's enough, mate. Is your name Kennedy? Uh, yes, sir. Pop just found Mrs. Potter in the mystery trunk. Come home at once. All is not well. Oh, they found her. Come on, let's go. Just a minute, Baldy. If you boys hadn't got tickets, you're going to work your way to Australia and back. <laughs> well, we're not going to Australia. No? Look through their porthole. Uh, <clears throat> You're a magician. Figure your way out of this one. Oh! <laughs> oh. 